New program focused on tackling crime is being celebrated for its success. The U.S. Attorney of Eastern North Carolina District held a press conference today to commend law enforcement officials on a job well done. Alyssa Hefner was there and has the story. Law enforcement agencies gathered Tuesday to talk about the progress that has been made to keep violent criminals off the street. To make life in this region safer and more fair and more free for working people who deserve to live in a community where they feel and know that they are safe. With the help of a plan that was formed eight months ago, the Violent Crime Action Plan, or VCAP. We got together in January of this year after a rash of brazen shootings over the course of the last year to talk about violent crime in this region and to talk about drug trafficking in this region. The group, which is a combination of different law enforcement agencies, meets every month. By working together, they've arrested 21 people on federal charges, with a total of 34 charges in northeastern North Carolina. Janice Cole is a former U.S. attorney and helped start VCAP. As a member of the community, um, we just couldn't tolerate it, you know. So often we allow these things to become the norm. We just think that that's what happens and there's nothing we can do about it. Well, I couldn't accept that. Thanks to those arrests, 26 guns were seized, including five machine guns, as well as 240 grams of fentanyl, which is enough for 120,000 potentially deadly doses. U.S. Attorney Michael Easley says the group identified 47 people who are contributing to violent crime, meaning their work isn't over. If you're involved in guns and drug trafficking in this community and driving violence, it might be you. And we're not going to stop until everybody on that list has met justice. But for now, they will continue to celebrate their achievements so far. In Edenton, Alyssa Hefner, WITN News. With a violent crime action plan, many state and federal agencies are also working with local law enforcement, including the North Carolina Alcohol Law Enforcement Division, NCSBI, the U.S. Marshals Service, and Homeland Security Investigations.